Okay, so we're all worried about this Russia situation, and um, I am. Uh, the world is. Everybody in America is talking about it. Everybody worldwide is talking about it. Ukraine has been holding their own for sure. They have been fighting back like no other. It's been insane. Um, so far, it seems like everybody worldwide has united against Russia and have they've put forth every sanction possible and Russia's economy is crippling beneath itself right now. The currency um, in Russia right now is pretty much worth nothing. It's worthless. I mean, pretty much almost worthless. And um, this has not rubbed Putin the right way. The reason why I'm making this video is because 15 minutes ago, Putin just put his nuclear force on high alert. That is terrifying. Already. Already. So, I'm going to show you guys an article so it doesn't sound like I'm talking out of my ass. Here is the article right here. Um, it's quite literally, Putin puts Russian nuclear forces on alert as fighting in Ukraine continues. So, this is what he has said directly right he says western countries aren't only taking unfriendly actions against our country and the economic sphere but top officials from leading nato members made aggressive statements regarding our country this is coming from putin by the way um so Putin threatened in the days before Russia's invasion to retaliate harshly against any nations that intervene directly in the conflict in Ukraine, and he specifically raised the specter of his country's status as a nuclear power. So that is something to keep in mind because he brought up already that they are a nuclear powerhouse, and that if anybody gets involved with them, they it, the world would face grave consequences. This is getting scary. I wanted to talk about it because I'm not sure if anybody's informed and I'm nervous. So I'll, and I saw this article. This just happened. So I'm like, oh, my gosh. Um, U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield denounced the move as a totally unacceptable escalation, telling to face the nation on Sunday morning that the U.S. will continue to hear at the United Nations and around the world to, to use every possible lever that we have at our disposal to expose his actions. Here's what I think, right? I personally think that because he's backed into a corner, this is like his Hail Mary. He's like, if people don't back off, even though everybody is literally trying to protect Ukraine from something completely unjust that's happening to them, then Putin is basically going to activate his arsenal of nuclear weapons and that's it. Right now, everybody on the internet is talking. There, there's like nuclear warfare memes all over the place right now because of what he just posted. But I'm actually terrified. I am terrified. I don't mean to, you know, keep riling you guys up, but I've been getting DMs from people who are also very terrified with the situation. And with this just now dropping, this is pretty crazy. Um, obviously, the entire wor world does not want a nuclear warfare. So everyone's coming together to try to find a way to stop that from happening. Um, right here, it says President Putin is continuing to escalate this war in a manner that is totally unacceptable. And we have to continue to condemn his actions in the strongest possible way, Thomas Greenfield said. The practical meaning of Putin's order was not immediately clear. Russia and the United States typically have the land and submarine based segments of their strategic nuclear forces on alert and prepared for combat at all times, but nuclear capable bombers and other aircraft are not. If Putin is arming or otherwise raising the nuclear combat readiness of his bombers, or if he is ordering more ballistic missile submarines to sea, then the United States might feel compelled to respond in kind, according to Hans. Christensen, a nuclear analyst at the Federation of American Scientists. That would mark a worrisome escalation and a potential crisis, he said. I feel like the fact that we have advanced this far with our nuclear technology has been a, a horrific de development in general because now we're in a conflict where that is pretty much the starting point for uh, people in, in conflicts now. He immediately jumped to, all right, if you guys don't leave us alone, nukes. He put his nuclear force on alert already because of what's going on in Ukraine. He can't successfully take Ukraine over. So his first response is, "We, I want my nuclear force to be ready. That's scary, bro. I, I don't know what the hell is going to happen next, but um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm obviously concerned. Um, 
And I hope that this de-escalates in some way, shape, or form. But I honestly don't really see that happening because a lot has happened in the last two days. In the last two days alone, more has happened that has the world shaking right now than in the last 40 years. Because this, well, the, the difference between this particular situation and every other situation is that we have a country right now that is quite literally making a threat to use nukes. That is scary. That is that's terrifying. And so all the media outlets are posting um, stories about that. Obviously, don't believe everything you hear in the media, but that right there is enough to at least be in the loop with what's going on. So um, let me know what you guys uh, you know think about this. If you guys have heard the same thing, or maybe this is a false rumor that's being spread around, there's the article right there in front of you. Um, it's on CBSNews.com. And you can literally type in Russia nuke boom. Uh, this is I I have no more words for this because I'm definitely terrified. So, um, how are you guys doing? Let me know how you guys are feeling. Uh, that's pretty much it. I, that's all I can really say about this. But I just hope everybody stays safe. My fingers are crossed that everything works. This works itself out. There is some kind of deterrent that we can. Um, the situation, I, I, I just hope that the situation de-escalates in some way, shape, or form. There's got to be a way to de-escalate what's happening right now. Some kind of talk, some kind of something, because right now it seems like the world's back is against the wall, and we might see the sun soon. I don't know. I hope not, but this is ridiculous. That's about it. See ya.